That was uh, a very groovy knockout. Oh, ah, yeah, did thank you, you. Did you you said you how you you had his game scouted? Did you predict him moving into that? Yeah, man, I drove that cake about you know two thousand times before I even stepped in that cage tonight. So you you were ready for him? I was ready for him, hundred percent. I mean, obviously, but yeah, I was definitely ready for him. And do you think that's gonna be the fifty thousand dollars a night? Game? Dude, if that's not fifty thousand, that's the first time he's ever been knocked out in his whole entire career, and off a side kick to the leg to a spinning hook kick. Yeah, that's fifty G's. Do you think that that compares with Edson Barbosa's spinning back kick? That's, that tops it. Tops it. That tops it. Absolutely. Why does it top it? Because he did it? <laughs> well, that shit was beautiful. Yeah, so, so was his. I was just wondering if you thought there was something that he did to set it up that made it look nicer. No. no. Do you remember watching that kick and saying, I could do something better than that? No, at the time, I, when he did that, I couldn't even throw a spin hook kick. Wow. Yeah. Or spin anything. Did you work specifically on that? Did you see, because you said on Thursday that you think he has not evolved enough, that he's you know, fairly similar over the years. Did you see this opening? Yeah. Yeah, man. We watch a lot of tape on him, and uh, he always has the same defensive tactics. He likes to pull to the same side every time. He plays a circle to that side. So yeah, I mean that's something I created myself. It's my own time, that technique, and we really to find his home tonight. What's going through your mind when you actually nail it? Oh, nothing. There's, there's no mind in the fight. It's just actions and reactions. Instantaneous. You seem really relaxed in there. Uh, second fight in the UFC. How, how did it feel to you know, go in there and get that spectacular? Fucking spectacular, man. Like, it, it doesn't top that right there. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. A guy that's never been knocked out, to knock him out like that is just, it's top, top notch. And you showed a lot of heart in that fight with Tony Ferguson. How important was it to go here and make a statement to let the rest of the division know that, hey, you're here to stay? Yeah, not just the rest of the division, man. The entire world, everybody, everybody wanted to know if I was a real deal, if I was a fluke, and I think that performance right there just proved it. So your first fight was a hard fought fight with Tony Ferguson, one of the best in the division. Mm -hmm. You just beat a serious victory in John McDessey. But what's next for you? Who do you is there anyone particularly want? Nah, anyone? whoever wants it. Whoever anyone, wants it. Anyone who's got the guts to step up? It don't matter. Anybody. Where's the purple suit? Why don't you wear it this time? You got new shoes on today. No. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> it's in the locker room. It's coming out. The last time you wore it for the, the scrum. Yeah, well, I didn't have a chance to go back there yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I'm not mocking it, yeah, just for the record. Okay. So you bought a car with the uh, the bonus last time. What, if you get the bonus, do you have plans on what you're going to do with it? Yeah, probably invest it. Do something smart with it. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I had to play a lot of catch-up with that last one. Years. Right. Years of poverty. Uh, so this one, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, looking fancy. Looking, if I get it. Right. We're going to uh, Thailand on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, what's the plans for post-fight celebrations tonight? I imagine it can't be too long because you got a flight to catch tomorrow. You know, I got one of my best friends from high school in town and, uh, and my girlfriend as well and my parents. So I think we're going to go out and get a few drinks, enjoy ourselves a little bit before we go and crash. You also mentioned, sorry, that uh, this is the first full training camp yeah. of your career in, I think, four years, right? No, uh, a little over two years. Two years. Yeah. So this is the result? Yeah. Continue to get those full training camps. This is what happens. Yep. All right. Yeah. Good cool. performances every time. Hey, Lando, how's, how's uh, Toronto? How's it being in Toronto during this week? You know, man, I really haven't even left my room that much or the hotel. Taking it low key, relaxing, letting my body rest, and just uh, hanging about. Would you, would you like to compete again uh, in the Toronto part? If you uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I like to come in the summertime, though, when it's warm and I can go check things out. For sure, for sure. <laughs> How much do you uh, credit your team for this win? Uh, obviously, a lot of your oh. teammates on this card uh, really sort of helping you, you know, for, for this matchup. Yeah, man. I, there's so much credit to go to the teammates. Uh, the coaches as well, but the teammates. So many techniques learned from them. So many insights. Uh, so many rounds with those guys. And I mean, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Having this experience now with the full camp, I mean, if, if a short notice fight were to come up, are you at a place now in your career where you wouldn't entertain that or would the circumstances have to be right to take a short notice fight? Yeah, there's variables, so I'm not going to take uh, – it, it depends on the fight. It depends on the fight. It depends on where I'm at shape-wise in that point of time.